My name is Jeannie and this is my husband Vince. We recently purchased our first Palomino truck camper and are taking it on its first long road trip from Colorado to Arizona. In our last episode, you saw us cross into Arizona after sleeping in six degree temps in Cortez, Colorado. We made a quick stop at Four Corners Monument, made a quick detour in Utah to see Gooseneck State Park, and then this happened. So our bathroom door just fell off. After getting that situation taken care of, we did a loop drive with our truck camper in Monument Valley before ending our day in Page, Arizona, where we stayed at our very first campground. During this trip, I'm also sharing our complete daily expenses of how much it costs us to travel and live out of our truck camper. So it's just a little bit after eight o'clock this morning. We had a nice night at the campsite here. Um, yeah, we've only been up like 25 minutes. <laughs> Getting coffee, still in the pajamas. Um, but yeah, it was really quiet here. So overall, good night in our very first campground that we've ever stayed in with the truck camper. So today we have a fun day planned. We are going on an antelope canyon tour which is those beautiful slot canyons that you see online. Um, the only way you can um, get to them is with a guided tour. You, They are permits, you have to be with a guide, like you can't just go. Our tour is at 10 o'clock this morning. It's a nice day out, the sun is rising right now, and we got blue skies, so that's always a plus, but it's Arizona, I mean, it's always blue skies right here, <laughs> I feel. So because we're at this campground, we're gonna use the dump. We're gonna fill our water tank, which is not even close to half full. So we still have a ton of water, but we're here. We paid for a campsite. We might as well take advantage of the amenities. We're doing our first water tank fill up here. And so we have our own hose right here. And then we have a water filter at the end of the hose so that even though this is like potable water, we still feel better just like, you know, filtering it <laughs> before we put it in our tank. It reaches over here. And we're filling the tank. <laughs> so we have this little freshwater baggie um, here that we put our hose in. And yeah, for sure, if it's right in there. And then we also have a yellow bag here for electric. And they're marked electric and water. I think, where did we get these, Amazon? Yeah, I'll leave them in the description if you're interested. All right, well, we don't have to go far because the dump's right there. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty easy situation here oh and I forgot this is one addition we've made so see this black tube up here so we mounted this tube um, that holds the sewer drainage pipe it's awesome this way it dries out when we're driving and it's secure and it matches it's black it blends right in <laughs> so again another Amazon find I'll put it in the description but we love this see there it is <laughs> we are arriving to Ken's Tours here in Page. Right there is the building over there. We're doing the general tour with them. Um, and I booked this, I pre booked this long, long time ago. And I want to say it was 50 bucks a person. When I looked at their website, that's what it was still. Um, so as I'm recording this, I'm pretty sure we paid $50 a person, which I think is about an hour long tour. So. And this is why we had to buy masks yesterday because this is on uh, part of like a reservation and masks are required. The tours are in small groups of eight people with a guide. The Lower Antelope Canyon is directly behind Ken's tours, so it was a quick walk to get to the entrance of the canyon before you start the climb down on some steep narrow stairs deep down into the slot canyon. This was really a beautiful experience to walk through. Our guide was born and raised here in Page and provided us with so much great information and history about the Antelope Canyon, the land, and the area around Page. And just a heads up, I highly recommend pre-booking this tour well in advance as they tend to sell out very quickly. Everyone's coming out of the canyon right now because we were just walking through the whole thing right here. We just finished the tour. Wow. That, that was, was awesome. That was a good tour. So little difference if you're looking because you're going to see options for an upper cantaloupe and a lower cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Oh, cantaloupe. <laughs> I just said cantaloupe. <laughs> antelope. They are actually named after antelope. But anyways, getting back to the cantaloupe. Not cantaloupe. <laughs> um, Sounds good. The, the lower is longer than the upper. Um, and the lower goes underground and the upper is like above ground. So totally different. Um, loved, loved this tour. 
it was definitely worth 50 bucks a person um, so highly recommend it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous those photos you see of it it's real it's not photoshopped it's legit beautiful <laughs> Just before arriving to Marble Canyon is the historic Navajo Bridge area. Look at this. How cool. They're identical. You can walk high over the pedestrian bridge and see deep down into the canyon for views of the Colorado River below. We are at the Lee's Ferry area. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Lee's Ferry, which is by Marble Canyon and there's a road here called Honeymoon Trail that you can drive. It's like a one-way road. We have the National Park Pass, which you can use that for this area so you don't have to pay. Um, I think a regular entrance fee is $15 if you didn't have this. So we're gonna drive Honeymoon Trail right now. <laughs> it's pretty cool, look at this, under my umbrella. I gotta go stand under that. Definitely not getting sick of the cooking views here. So at the end of the drive here on the Honeymoon Trail is Lee's Ferry Port. Um, there is a boat launch and then these old little houses and they were built in 1874. And look at this photo you guys. So this is the guys having Christmas dinner here in 1889. Right there. Wow. goes out here towards the river at the end of this road and definitely recommend just walking it's not very far we're parked right over there so we're in Cameron Arizona and we just got up at 364 a gallon and we put in $75 that's it So we're uh, camping with cows tonight. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> That's awesome. So we are camping right outside the Grand Canyon, which we're so excited to visit. We have been here before. We've been to the Grand Canyon, I think it was like 2015 or 16 we were here. We're gonna be taking a different route in. So tomorrow we should be driving along the canyon. When we came last time, we came from Las Vegas and then like Flagstaff and up. So you didn't get that drive along the canyon. So um, yeah, this time we get to drive along the canyon over to the main entrance and then down through Flagstaff. So should have a few different views. So it's pretty cool. Free camping by the Grand Canyon. <laughs> With cows, of course. Can't forget the cows. We're gonna have to level it tonight. Dispersed camping It's not always the most level sites, but it's a little, little tilted. So we're gonna put blocks on these two tires on this side. Good job, look at that. I think we're gonna have a very, very beautiful sunset tonight. It's like right in front of our campsite. You guys, the cows are coming towards us, kind of. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, tonight if the motion light goes off, we'll just assume it's a cow. <laughs> I hope it's just a cow. <laughs> We're just gonna hope it's a cow. <laughs> we have to be careful when we get out. We don't want to step in a cow pie tomorrow. Well, dang you guys, now the cows are in front of us. This is quite, quite the attraction here. Cheers, hun. Cheers. Woohoo. Well, that wasn't very good. <laughs> 
Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Since we have like a perfect location of sunset, I decided to set up my camera and record a time lapse of the sunset. I always feel when there's like clouds with the sunset, it makes like the prettiest sunset time lapses. Um, so I figured tonight would be a good night for that. And the cows are making their way out. So, I don't know. Good night, cows. Wherever you're headed, sleep well. showering in our shower tonight. Now that the temps have warmed up a little bit, I feel more comfortable using the shower, but I will say that was pretty nice being spoiled with some hot showers with no limit <laughs> at campgrounds and rec centers. So I don't know, we might keep that going. Um, we like our shower, but you know, it's camping shower. It's different. <laughs> All right, we both got in our camper showers tonight. It was a success felt good <laughs> but it's a it's a lot more work like I said to use the camper shower because then like when you're done showering you basically have to like dry everything out otherwise like the water kind of sits around and you don't want water sitting so it's just a lot more work to use the camper shower love the shower would not get rid of our shower but if we can go buy a shower for four bucks or whatever it is well worth it we're definitely doing that <laughs> So, it's um, nice to have. Yeah, it's definitely nice to have. Um, just a little more, little more work in the evenings. But uh, yeah, we're having dinner now. We're just having some more lasagna because it's so good. Salads and yeah, that's the dinner. So recap of today between the antelope tours, gas, and then we just grabbed some zip ties that didn't work, and I grabbed one more orange juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we spent a total of a hundred and seventy-nine dollars today. So yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So tomorrow, another big day. So we didn't wake up to any cows visiting us this morning, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, it was colder last night. Um, I don't know, we woke up and it was like 14 degrees. So we're assuming it probably got 10-ish degrees last night. So a little chilly, um, but the camper stays warm. Um, but we're getting the truck warmed up. Look at that. Whew, it's chilly out. So today we are headed to the Grand Canyon. So basically what we're doing is um, driving along the Grand Canyon on uh, Road 64. It's also called, I think, Desert View Road. And then we're going to do multiple stops along the way to overlooks and whatnot. <laughs> he did it! Nice. It's gonna be a good day. We're excited to get back to the Grand Canyon. Let's go. My chauffeur awaits. <laughs> All right, and like less than two miles later, we're at the Grand Canyon National Park. So this is the Chuck Camper's second national park, officially. Our first views of the Grand Canyon. I'm so glad we decided to make the trip over here on this trip. Because it's been a while and you kind of forget how big and beautiful it is. Wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> So we just left the Grand Canyon. We're making our way down to Flagstaff and there's a few forest roads between here and Flagstaff. Um, so we just pulled over into one of these spots. It's literally right off this main road. It's really loud, but we're just gonna grab our little breakfast here quick and yeah, continue on with our day. So today I'm just having a banana and some mixed nuts. And then Vince is having a ham sandwich and Pringles. <laughs> yeah. So 
So we're in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're kind of just using Flagstaff as a place to run some errands. So we are at Tractor Supply right now. We're getting our uh, propane tank filled. Um, we just want to like top it off just to make sure we're good since the nights have been pretty cold these last few nights. Um, and then we're going to go run to Walmart really quick just to pick up a few items and then gas and we might even shower here because they have showers here um, because after here we're actually heading to Sedona for the night um, but Sedona didn't have like propane fill-ups and stuff that we we're trying to find so we're like well we're gonna do it all in Flagstaff today it's very close is it you think yeah. so yeah. Yeah. yeah she's been running a lot all right so propane is 389 a gallon and so these are five gallon tanks and we needed to fill it 3.9. Okay, so that's really good to know. So we just camped three full days in really cold weather. And- um, The first our, night it was running like all- the Yeah, time. the first night, especially in Colorado, it was good nine degrees. Um, and our fridge runs off of that. So after three days, we had 1.1 gallons left. So that's good to know. Um, because we never have camped this long, so we're like, we don't know how many days we can get off of that. We just went and paid for the propane, so for 3.9 gallons, it was $16.56 at 389 a gallon. So we just gassed up at a Speedway here in Flagstaff. We paid $3.95 a gallon and put in $81. Next up, Walmart. <laughs> Here's our essentials. Hey right, guys, so we are at Little America Travel Center. It's like a truck stop here in Flagstaff. And we're gonna go shower. So this is a truck stop travel center. First time showering at a truck stop. So they have a hallway of private bathrooms here. So, wow. Here's our bath, oh my God, it has a tub, you guys. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. So the private shower rooms are $15, uh, but we could share, so it's 15 for both of us, so it's like 750. But they give you towels and shampoo and conditioner and all things. We're using our own shampoo and conditioner, but it's really nice. They give you all the towels and everything. And this is a really nice bathroom. <laughs> All right, that was a success. <laughs> really nice showers. Um, I'm gonna be very honest, this is kind of fun, like bopping around all these different places to shower. Like I know that might be kind of weird, but I've literally never done this before. Um, like we've always showered at our hotel rooms or whatever. So <laughs> seeing truck stops, rec centers, um, whatever else we've been to already. Um, it's pretty cool because they've all been really nice they really have so um, today was definitely the more um, expensive shower that we've had yet um, but I mean $15 for two of us it's a little much more than you know some of them but that's okay so now we're on our way to Sedona to find our campsite for the night we have about an hour drive from Flagstaff It's non-stop traffic. Oh, you can see, look at this. It's nuts. It's been a couple miles. We're lucky here. to be on this side of the road. So we have a love-hate relationship with this town. We've been to Sedona before. Um, this was uh, in 2020. And we had so many things we want to do here, but traffic and people was crazy. And Vince and I were like, okay, well, let's go back and just see if it's any better. We literally got into town and it's already backed up. It's still going as I've been talking. You guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's backed up to the light up there. Oh my gosh. So that's more after this. So. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know, you guys. Here we came to Sedona thinking, oh yeah, let's give it another shot. But both of us are just like, I don't know. <laughs> Go to Tucson. We're staying the night here camping, hopefully as long as we can find a spot. Um, but this town is something else. So, we'll see. It's, it's, it's always interesting coming to Sedona. <laughs> there's been so many hikes here we've been wanting to do too, and trailheads have been nuts, and there's lines, and it's something else, so I don't know. Anyways, 
that's our that's our thought on Sedona. Even though it's beautiful, it's such a beautiful little area. But everyone else thinks that too. Yep, exactly. But look at you guys, we're in the 60s. <laughs> new camping rules, not what I feel like. All right, so we got new camping rules in this area of Sedona, which I did see before arriving. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Jesus, close to camping and campfires, all that. And then this is private, the blue. Wow. Where are we? So you are here. Oh yeah. So here, used to be a bunch of forest roads here in Sedona and this used to all have dispersed camping but they've closed it all and made designated sites here so hopefully we can find a spot three six seven eight yeah there's only eight spots now six Sedona's here and then if you go down on this road uh so we're on like forest road 525 is what where we're at right now so We'll see how it goes, you guys. I think we found one of the camping sites. See that? It's just a circle. <laughs> and then you can camp inside the circle. Interesting. Very interesting. All along here, you guys, used to be camping and now there's signs. No fires, no camping. Wow. So this is the campings now. This is just group camps. Oh, I don't ATVs. know. Yeah, they all have like ATVs. <laughs> okay, so Vince and I were not digging the uh, dispersed camping setup up there where they closed it all down and made it into little group camps eh, we're, we're not really wanting to you know hang with a bunch of people we don't know so close together you know people had like four wheelers and stuff and then you don't know if they start drinking and doing all these weird things so we said adios <laughs> and we literally drove mm, maybe like eight minutes down the road and there is um, another forest land area. But before you get to that, there's an Arizona State Trust land that you can camp in. There's tons of sites along here and we have our own private site. <laughs> but you did have to pay um, $15 with a dollar convenience fee. So tonight's campsite is $16, um, but it's dispersed camping and we're not packed together with a bunch of random people we don't know and we have a private site. <laughs> I'm having ham sandwich and some macaroni I bought at uh, Walmart today. And Vince is having chicken tortilla <laughs> soup and Pringles. <laughs> so per usual, I tallied up to the day to see how much we spent. So with um, this morning like propane, gas, our Walmart run, because um, it was, you know, essentials for the camper. And this campsite, we came to 169 61. I feel like we're kind of averaging right around that $200 mark per day uh, with camping and all the things. And we haven't even ate out yet, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're doing good. We're almost tempted today a little. <laughs> yeah, we almost did almost today. You know, we're just not in that mood to deal with masses of people. It's like a little hidden gem or something. It's quite the castle he had. They're everywhere! They're the coolest! This is beautiful. Worst shower yet. Yeah. yeah. Right behind us, he came over and started picking wood from our campsite. Like, what? Mm -hmm. 